We all know the GTA 6 map is going to be huge, but it looks like there's a catch in the fact that the game is going to be so massive. Let's start from the beginning. PlayStation 5 Pro specifications have leaked online. The list first came out on Moore's Law's Dead YouTube channel, and then was claimed to be real by Insider Gaming. The latter added further detail in a later published article. The headline improvements here are to the CPU, which is said to be identical to the standard PS5's one, but with a high frequency mode, which amounts to a 10% increase of the clock speed, and the GPU which enables faster rendering and higher quality ray tracing powered by 33.5 teraflops. The standard PS5 offers 10.28 teraflops. Also, the PS5 Pro is said to have an upscaling and anti-aliasing solution called PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling, custom machine learning architecture, and an AI accelerator. It all sounds like the upcoming console will run GTA 6 in 4K resolution without any problems, but tech experts have a different opinion. According to Digital Foundry founder Rich Ledbetter, speaking in the latest episode of DF Direct, the PS5 Pro's process. Yo, first of all, shout out to Inter. I'll be watching your videos. Great information on GTA Online. Go check his channel out. If you rock with the channel and your boy, you know what to do. Hit the buttons. Hit the thumbs up, you know. Um, PS5, I feel like 4K, playing any game of 4K is going to be tough, bro. It's going to be a lot of lag. It's already lag in the old games. So imagine a 4K game with all this ray tracing and extra shit. It's going to be tough means GTA 6 will probably run at 30 FPS, same as on the standard PS5. The games that are targeting 30 FPS are not, right now, are not going to be targeting 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5 Pro if they're CPU limited. So, you know, all of the sort of conjectures that, hey, this is going to be a great uh, box for Grand Theft Auto 6, uh, we'll be able to run that at 60 frames per second, unless there's some magical CPU stuff being done by Rockstar. I suggest that's not going to happen. Extra 10% on clocks isn't really going to do much. much at all. It will help your sort of worst possible frame rates when you're CPU limited, but it's not a game changer. I think that's that's pretty clear. Right. I was pretty sure that the standard PS5 and Xbox Series X won't run GTA 6 at 60 FPS, but PS5 Pro? Right now, one of the miracles we can count on is that the leaked specs aren't 100% right, but I wouldn't get my hopes up because it has been confirmed by many reliable sources. And given no GTA game has launched with a 60 FPS option, all of this seems to be true. The second option that may make GTA 6 run at 60 FPS is some kind of programming miracle. Perhaps Rockstar already has a solution to this problem. They probably already received a PS5 Pro dev kit and seeing what components it has, started working on some performance mode to make the game able to run at some higher frame rates. Last month, analysts signaled that Sony is likely to release the PS5 Pro later in 2024. Sony has a pattern when it comes to releasing a Pro version of its consoles. The PS4 Pro, for example, launched in November 2016, three years after the PS4 came out. A PS5 Pro launch this November would come four years after the standard version launched in November 2020. Honestly, I'm not surprised by all the buzz about GTA running at 30 FPS after looking at this comparison. One of the GTA 6 Reddit community members posted this image comparing the latest GTA 6 map, which is based on the leaks in the trailer, to the RDR2 mm. and previous GTA games. The difference is huge. The upcoming GTA map seems to be at least twice the size of the GTA 5 map, and it looks three or even four times bigger than the RDR2. You can put like all the maps that you've ever, they've ever had into the well, one map. Map. This image also reminded me of how small the GTA 4 map is. Hey. I recently played this game, and the world seemed much bigger than what's visible on the comparison, and it seems to me that this is due to the density of that map. And if you're worried looking at this image that the GTA 6 map don't have enough urban areas, I think there's no reason for such concerns. The map you see was drawn based on the coordinates found in footage from the huge GTA 6 leak from 2022, and from the first trailer, so there are no unconfirmed locations or roads on this map. The second trailer should reveal some new locations, though I'm sure that by the time the game is released, there will be a lot of places that weren't discovered earlier. Not long ago, I reported to you about a situation where in late February, Rockstar senior leadership asked previously remote working GTA 6 developers to return to the office five days a week in the sequel's final stretch of development for productivity and security reasons. Now, speaking to Aftermath under condition of anonymity, two employees are pushing back against the notion that in-office work will have the tangible benefits Rockstar cited when pushing for a return to office. Speaking to the security aspect of the situation, yo, you think I need a writer for my videos? That shit made me think, yo, I'm some random thinking ass, stupid ass. My bad, people. I just be thinking about the randomest shit.
prevalence of leaks, which has been particularly bad for GTA 6, there were varying degrees of understanding. One Rockstar employee said, Security is definitely the argument that's easier to take in good faith because we have had leaks, and they're a serious problem. We need to do as much as we can to make it harder for attackers to get into our systems. Another employee, however, argued that leaks can happen with in-office work just as much as remote work. We've historically had leaks regardless of what setup we had. Back with Red Dead Redemption 2, we had leaks around the launch of that game. It's never going to be 100% fully secure. People will be motivated to leak our content because there's a great deal of interest in the products that we make. There's little disagreement among the employees interviewed, however, that it's possible for most employees to be just as productive from home as in the office. One employee said, If you're a programmer, it's quite a bit easier for you to work remotely than it is for other roles involved in acting and mocap and things like that. But the reality is, for probably the majority of people in the development staff, you don't need to be in the office every single day to do your job. Another Rockstar staffer said, If we look at our previous project, like RDR2, where we were working five days in the office, we're still working remotely with all of these other studios. So whether you were in the office or not, you were still doing remote work. You work with so many people on so many different teams. A good majority of them will not be at the place where you work. Some Rockstar employees speaking to Aftermath expressed concern that Rockstar's in-office mandate is simply a means of quietly laying people off without severance pay by making work unbearable or inaccessible. The employees are concerned that some of their colleagues will choose to simply step away from GTA 6 and Rockstar altogether when faced with the decision to prioritize their health over work. After reading their arguments, I'm not sure what to think anymore. An important thing is that since they started to work remotely, many of them moved to places far from the studios, and now moving back for many could be too big of a problem, and they might resign from further work on the game. And regarding the mentioned leaks which happened before they worked remotely, they're right, because the second, in my opinion, biggest legit leak of information about GTA 6 happened in 2018. The YouTube channel, The No, formerly and now currently known as Inside Gaming, released a video sharing details about GTA 6. All the information was sent to them by an anonymous source close to Rockstar Games. The group felt confident in the evidence provided to them, and that's why they decided to publish the information. So what was leaked? The fact that the next numbered entry in the GTA franchise will be set in or around Miami, or Rockstar's version of South Florida, known as Vice City in the GTA universe. But players will also fly to South America for some missions. For many people, this was not a big surprise, because Vice City was one of the main locations they expected in the next GTA. Oh, they so also... that's why Kyle Perico. So everything happens for a reason. It's starting to make sense. All the shit they do in the GTA Online is to prepare for this game. So the island, going to the island. Okay, that's what makes sense. I hope it's just so more open world, man. And less, like, just stupid ass bots walking around. So said that for the first time in the series, GTA 6 will feature a female or character. Or crashing into my car. Y'all gotta stop that shit. We gotta talk about that shit. Bro, this, who, whoever's doing the AIs for the cars, bro, stop. Stop with the random swerving in the nigga shit. I hate that, bro. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. The main leads, although there was no more detail on whether players will take control of more than one protagonist as they do in GTA 5. This was also confirmed in the 2022 leaks and in the first trailer last year. It's crazy to think that such important information about the game was leaked already six years ago. It was a huge thing. And recently, writer and comedian Brian Garr has revealed how Rockstar Games reacted when all these details were leaked in 2018. It's worth saying a bit more about who he is, though. Garr writes for the production company Rooster teeth, which is being shut down by parent company Warner Brothers Discovery after 21 years of operating. Six years ago, Brian was writing for The No, which was an entertainment news channel division of Rooster Teeth, working on the latest episode of the Inside Games podcast. On the episode called R.I.P. Rooster Teeth, the panel of Lawrence Suntag, Bruce Green, and Brian reminisced about some of their favorite memories of the company. And Brian revealed how Rockstar reacted to a video he scripted about GTA 6. Check it out. And so I got a tip and this was six or seven years ago, about GTA 6, um, from someone, and I'm not going to say who still, but like they had inside info as to what it was looking like at the time. And it was like, um, I forget what, but it was like, you know, it's, it was codenamed Project Americas, and you're going to be doing drug missions to, and you know, uh, from from uh, the U.S. to, to Central South America and all this. Oh, shit. So I was like, great. Got they the person to confirm who they were. I, but now I realize it is on some cartel type shit. So, like, you can Oh, so we're going to be rocking with the cartel. Okay. You know, I'll be here for it. I'll be here for it. Uh, typed up the script. Um, we put out the video. And uh, 
and no one believed us at the time, or it was kind of, even the audience was kind of like, eh, I don't know, you're, you're full, you know, kind of like you're full of shit or whatever. <laughs> Rockstar, Rockstar flipped out. Oh, like wow. they locked down the studio to find, <laughs> to find wow. the leaker. And a vice president of Rockstar called me and was like, Whoa. he's very nice, but he wanted to know, you know, who you know who my source was and well, i was you like can't do that yeah, yeah, yeah i was like i was like look man i cannot like i don't know how like games journalism but like i'm from like newspaper like i'm never gonna tell you my he was like that's fine you know just wanted to you know and uh you know got <laughs> off and, but and it was like rooster teeth you know it 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 it, it, it had caused a deal like nobody ever said like Hey, you shouldn't have done that, but it was like it definitely <laughs> caused waves that we mm -hmm. had put that out. So, hearing all that and now looking at the current Rockstar Games employees situation, I'm not sure that the studio wants them back in the office mainly because of security reasons. Oh, the issue that's why they had to do them from home because yeah, it's too much leaks going on. We know too much about the game, like we know everything about the game pretty much. So yeah, okay, that makes sense. Productivity makes more sense, although also not entirely. There's a lot of different research, and some of it says that remote workers actually aren't more productive, but other research says something completely opposite. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, and if you switched from office to remote work in the past few years, let me know how it has affected your productivity. Staying on the topic of leaks, over the last few weeks, I often- I would say <clears throat> remote work, you probably work more. <clears throat> it sounds crazy, but yeah, when you're at home, you probably work more. Just more downtime, you just get bored, you want to just get to work. Like, it's just weird. Yeah, I think, I, I feel like for me personally, I work more. When I was working like fucking all them jobs and shit, I was calling out a lot. <laughs> a whole lot. They barely saw you, boy. Now, you know what I'm saying? With YouTube, I, they, they, they see me sometimes. They see me sometimes. Um, We still working on that. And come across articles like this one titled GTA 6 Strip Club Gameplay Footage Appears Online. They're saying that another leak is making the rounds across social media, and this time it's a strip club from one of GTA 6's locations, the returning Vice City. There are way more such articles, and simply put, don't believe it. They're trying to make it look like some new leaks, and don't mention the fact that it's from the old GTA 6 development footage leak from 2022. In a new interview with Games Industry Biz, industry analyst Yo, Matt I can't Piscatello even go no more. He all the information is, is cluttering my brain. We're gonna leave it right there so I can remember some of this shit. I can't even remember some of this shit, bro. He went too crazy. But uh, shout out to Interior. He got some great information. So go sub to his channel. Come back to my channel. I'm um, gonna keep rocking. Oh, uh, yo, tell me what garage I wanna see down in the comments, man. We're gonna keep rocking with GTA 5 till GTA 6 come out. Look at.